Good Monday morning to you. I'm into pecans now, y'all. Pecans is what's up. Loaded with nutrients. Antioxidants. Weird, right? I mean, I'm doing this like breakfast, lunch, dinner kind of thing. That's that, you know, white supremacy explanation of what food is to be. They did it. They're into break, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I guess a hurricane came through or something the other day. Ian or something. <laughs> so well, I'm not I'm not into movies, but here I am talking about movies. I do that all the time. I like I don't like movies, but I don't like television. Blind, y'all. But <laughs> my favorite movie is Top Gun. I haven't seen the, the Maverick one yet. Today's what? The third of August, October, two thousand twenty-two. I just woke up this morning. First thing on my mind was, what a fucking waste of money this stuff is. Not just this morning, but I, I thought about it, you know, earlier this year. I hosted a woman. God, she's just killing it. Five, she says she's 5'10", more like 5'11", 5'12". <laughs> I like to say 5'12", that's Victoria, so she's, she is a legitimate six feet tall. Stranded with supermodel, my collusion with Russia, and it was actually released on 512. That's her height. It's just coincidence, you know. But of course, the book's being sold for ten dollars and fourteen cents. Take a wild guess. Oh shit! This is her month. This is her birthday month. Happy birthday, Victoria. Have a wow. Take a wild guess. What you know, ten fourteen. Uh, why it's sold for that much? Take a wild guess. Why? I Am Set Free is sold for $18 and I think 94 96 cents or something. I gotta know this stuff, you know, it's when Miami became a city. Incorporated, so... Top Gun is a big waste of money, y'all. <laughs> I mean, it's a, When you actually look at these things, I mean, about 100% of what these fucking alcoholics and pothead, cocaine sniffing, smoking... I mean, Obama was a big smoker. I wonder if Biden smoked. I mean, you don't see this guy. It'd be kind of cool to see like a president giving her speech, you know, and like smoking a cigarette. That's what Obama did. He smoked. He did like a pack a day. He couldn't get off of it. He talked about that too. It's like big addiction to it. Anyway, these these politicians, 100% of what they're doing is like total mess. I mean, you realize like who we have representing us? These non-representative representatives, just wasting money after money. FEMA, that's a good one. <laughs> They're all talking about our checks we're going to be getting. Actually, I, I guess somebody's already gotten their overnight check. $4,500. We're not getting no $4,500 of damage. So Top Gun, it's, it's this flight school. It is real. It's real. Okay. But the reality is this. Go look at it. Oh shit. Is that the pool guy's coming? Oh, let's get him out of, get him out of the. Uh... Well, good morning. Yeah. I'm mean, just like like the, all the lawn chairs in the swimming pool. You think going to the pool today? Well, it's too cold right now anyway. So, have you seen like any. I mean, we're not going to see a dog fights, but I mean. Top Gun is a school for dog fighting. I think it was in the Korean War, maybe the Vietnam Vietnam War or I don't know, like some of those wars that we got got our asses beat when it comes to dog fighting. But I mean are we actually using these things? You know, the F sixteen, F fifteen, F four I look I met a dude. <laughs> he was actually in the movie Top Gun. But he worked on an aircraft carrier. I'm, I'm looking down that way because we met at a pool hall. He's from he's from like Rain or Aleri, I think. In the, in the two, I'm pretty sure it was a two one six. He had to be like at least fifteen twenty years older than me. I'm older than me, I'm forty two. And he said the F fourteen just kept losing so much gas all the time. It just leaked gas, leaked gas. So that's why they phased the F fourteen com Tomcat out. But you got the, you know, F-16 Falcon. We got these air shows, too. Like, 
they're showing off what we do. I mean, I can understand the A4 being used, taking out, you know, tanks, and then of course the A10 Warthog or Thunderbolt, whatever you want to call it, takes out tanks as well. But that's again, that's not dogfighting. We're using these F16, the Joint Strike Fighter, F35 came out to F22, F18 Hornet, Super Hornet came out. Fighter jets. And most of these fighter jets, I mean, all of them have been used for just dropping bombs over Iraq. Now we've seen videos for that. And of course, the stealth fighters. They're supposed to be used also for dog fighting. <laughs> People can say, oh, well, but when, when, when have we used these things, y'all? People can say, oh, well, at least we're. They always say, the Democrats and Republicans say, well, I'd rather fight them over there than over here. You can see the um, towels hanging on the um, fence. Our, our, our washers and dryers, gone. <laughs> we got five washers, five dryers for three buildings, and they're never always being used, but I mean, it's like, I'm sure the companies that sell on those things, anyway, they're, they're toast. We had a big flood, flood. It's just a waste of money. I mean, the whole thing, the Air Force, the Navy, do you realize how much, we're talking about hundreds, just a hundred million dollars for the joint strike, joint, joint strike for Lockheed Martin, we get these relationships with these guys, and of course they end up donating to campaigns of politicians. So yeah, I'd rather fight them over there than over here. This whole war shit is like, have you ever met like these guys who are at the Air Force bases and stuff? I don't mean, I never did any mortgage loans for any former military, yeah. And it, 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 it's, 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 it's always more profitable than not to do a VA loan. Like, what's the point? It takes longer anyway. <laughs> just want to get that thing closed, you know? I'm a retired mortgage broker. I don't know. I mean, Af Afghanistan, Iraq. When if we shot down with a fighter jet? That's what that's what their main purpose is, y'all. So this woman I was hosting, she she wanted to go into gorgeous. She's from France. Oh, the accent of hers. Manu, M A N O U. So she was here um, January. She was going to this. She's from France, and she was, she's, she's, I guess, apparently she's in the United States Air Force. She's in, like, a, a cadet or something. Down there at the uh, Erasmus, I don't know what it's called. Some kind of, I've heard about a lot about it. Like, I keep forgetting. E-R-A-U or something, university. It's a flight school or something. So I'm making these videos. You see a lot of these here lies airplanes going overhead. How are we doing with the eyesight here? Uh, E-35. That's impressive. What a miracle. So anyway, the whole point of this video is for people, you know, look at it a little bit, like what, what this country is doing with regard to the army, you know, marines, navy, air force, all these things. Total waste of money. Oh well, if we didn't have these things, then they'd be jumping out, jumping all on us. You don't know that. I don't. I don't do those things. I don't carry anything. Even if I if I didn't any the things that happened to me wouldn't have been prevented. <laughs> I mean, the things that have happened to me, it's I mean it's like well I'm still alive, that's the thing. It's the whole point of it. It's like to stand your ground here in Florida, which is a bunch of bullshit, it's a racist law. It's to prevent you it's to save your own life. We'll keep us below 10 minutes, and, uh, anyway, uh, Top Gun's a big waste of money. <laughs> and that people actually care about saving lives? Come on now.